Hello there, and welcome back to this Let's Play of Final Fantasy 2 Part 8. We are with Dragon Wolf, and we left ourselves in the Dreadnought. From here, I pretty much just need to go through and destroy the Dreadnought. I used the things that I had, I used my ethers, I used a couple of potions. We should be perfectly fine to get this finished and get this thing blown up. Go up these stairs to wheel enough the third floor to go down to the fifth floor, which is confusing, but <laughs> all pretty standard. The only part that makes this a bit difficult is floor 5. If you don't know where you're going, you can get into a lot of extra fights. These soldiers, if you talk to them, they will attack you. And they're relatively tough. They also don't disappear when they're defeated. And the gate that we need is just down there on the bottom right, basically is right in the middle of the room. But there is no direct way to get there. basically go all the way around the avoid the soldiers right around the entire room. It's a bit of a pain, but, you know. Probably do here is just train up some magic. I'm pretty sure I have some tones. Um, I'll give... Very in the thunder. And he can start training that up. I think I'll do it when I'm relatively safe. As it's just a base sort of level spell, level 1, he ain't gonna do jack. Oh. <laughs> so relatively secure enough that we don't need to. Intelligence for now. Something else that I found out you can do as well. You can rearrange where you put things. So that your most common spells that you may actually use in battle are you know towards the end. Get towards the start even. <laughs> it's well done, but towards the end, but you will never use it. <laughs> Blizzard and whatnot will move up. This time we go all the way along to reach the next soldier and then up. Next is here at level 3, level 2, level 2, make sure I use these. Oh, that's a pair. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm just doing this because I know the way and I know I'm safe. Um, if I wasn't safe, if I didn't know my way around, then this could end up having quite a few extra battles, and then you would be in trouble with them. Um, the HP and the magic and whatnot that you get left. If you hear those little beeps, my control just ran out of power. Luckily, I'm always prepared, and I had more. I bet I throw Guy a cure, he's getting a bit... Not so bad, it's just the captain. Yeah. Really quite tough. And they've got a lot of good resistance as well. And they do have like a terrain. Where we are, we should be fine. This gives you a, a sort of rough idea as to how. Ridiculous. Um, they are. And why you don't want to fight too many of them. Oh, you 
just have blood type because our bow is terrible. He's getting a good bow. <laughs> I don't even remember how much HP they've got, I just know they are quite tough. Yeah, okay, I think they agree that we don't want to tangle with these guys. And magic. Excellent. Ooh, a flame bow. As I mentioned, they do not disappear. So, yeah, not not great. I didn't know they dropped a flame bow. That's quite interesting. Darkness. That is a much better bow. Nice. I was doing that just to show you what was what. I get an unusual uh, bonus out of it. Perfect. Wonderful do flame damage. Oh wow. Oh yeah, that's a good bow. <laughs> uh, yeah, please. Yeah, basically, that's the last part. You walk up to the Red Dot's engine and you throw in the Sunfire. Whatever the hell it is. There we go. The game will pretty much take over from now. Thankfully, we don't need to fight our way out. The game takes care of walking it out. Is getting a suspicion on. Yeah, we, we have to move when the engine's on fire. Almost out now, and we will get treated to a wonderfully detailed 16 bit explosion. <laughs> yep, things are definitely going wrong with that ship. Sid waited for us, and we're off. But Sid will take you back to Old Tyre, and basically you just have a little chat regarding what's happened with the, the people in there. It's pretty obvious what you do after that. First thing I like to do is go to the inn, stay the night. And then replenish my ethers and potions and blah 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 blah.
and equip everything that he's got on him. Remove everything. He doesn't have a lot, and my gill is pretty, pretty good in the moment. Not going to lie, but other people can use that stuff and if that isn't being used I can sell. I see I've got over 35,000 gil but you know I ain't rich by any means. You can always use some more. I'll get some eyebrows as well. Leaving them, don't go to sell stuff. <laughs> yeah, see, he gets it, he's gone. We're going to keep her in pose, I think, for the rest of the game now. She has enough um, MP to carry her through. She's getting 50 now, so I should be perfectly fine. Sell off all our old garbage, basically. Keep the main gauche, that's the only thing that we will keep. And you'll see why pretty soon. things and making Gordon naked. Talk to a few people, it's pretty obvious what you do. The king's not doing well, the king's not doing well. Excellent, you did the dread dark thing. Hey, the king's not doing well. Guess where you've got to go. <laughs> Minwoo's shaking his head, that's not a good sign. Thank us for trading them, I mean, we can get them when they first got here. Anyone who is anyone with any Final Fantasy knows that this spell, Ultima, is a big deal. Usually one of your best spells. So it's quite important. On the other hand, we're going to dice the home of the goons. This is a, a kind of trope for Final Fantasy as well. You never kill all of the goons, there's always at least one left. <laughs> what sets apart, I think, Final Fantasy from many, many other games of its time. Think about games in the, you know, 80s, 90s, when this was originally made. They're all very nice, you know, think of Mario, jumpy jumpy, hero stuff. Kidnap was a thing. No one just outright died. You never lost any characters, nothing like that. Right at the start of this game, you get attacked and you're basically almost killed. 
if you lose one of your members and then two people die, Gordon's brother, I forget his name, and now the king have died on the screen. As much as it's not graphic and anything like that, it's quite big for the time. Quite interesting. Basically from here we head out to the main room with the thrones where Hilda usually is and speak to Gordon. So as if you can miss them, there are two things to learn here. One is Dragoon. Guess who the other one is? <laughs> the very hand look tells you exactly where to go next. It's kind of neat. I think the very first Final Fantasy had that problem. Where it's just like, you've got to do a thing, but we're not going to tell you what it is. I remember when I was playing it. Most of the things that I found out how to do, I mostly did from randomly wandering. And I didn't know where the hell I was going. That is a very nice goal. <laughs> No look, we have a new person. This is obviously supposed to be a pirate speak, but for my accent it just sounds like a normal conversation. You folks look for matches to dice, don't you? This will be your lucky day. It so happens my ship was about to leave for dice, but you want the right. Sounds great in glass vision. <laughs> Ships. He's literally just spoke to the first person there. Look at Maria just shaking her head like, ah, why? <laughs> you head on to the ship and off we go. Surprise, surprise, she's double crossing this. Who the thunk? Are you getting a one? <laughs> I love it. I was talking just got uh, you know, last week just confirmed. That's fair, I just like to use. Mainly to up spells. Because it's so easy. You literally just attack eight times and kill them. You don't do that much damage. I'm not particularly skilled or tough or anything like that. As you can see, they can't even hit me most of the time. <laughs> but yeah, I 
just a tank glass. I do love the dying sound though. <laughs> <laughs> 3,000 gilbos, that's not bad. Yep, like any Final Fantasy person who's a hero, we don't want to kill her, we want her to join us! On the plus side, we get uh, Layla's apart member. On the plus plus side, we get her boat. That's what we really want. We now have free reign of the boat. And the reason I said keep the main gauche handy is he is trained in daggers and knives. He's the only person in the entire game that actually uses knives. That's trained in it. So that's quite handy. She also has Thunder 4. Yep, Thunder 4. Almost Thunder 5. So yeah. One of the good things is that. A lot of the things you fight at sea are weak against thunder. Now we've got to find um, Diced. Now, you can wander around because it doesn't tell you where Diced is. But it's kind of east on an island east of Basque. So I generally like to find Basque. There it is. Easiest way I've found to get there is see that little kind of gap. That kind of semicircular gap. Um, I like to go east and then go south all the way until I hit the top of the map, basically. I like the map jump. Okay. And you're basically looking for a mountain pass, almost. Not even a mountain pass, just a, a land covered in mountains. Ooh, Buccaneers. Again, I'm just going to use this to train up my magic. Right as well. Train up my thunder as well. Yeah, you also see this between thunder 3 and thunder 4. And we can all agree, thunder 4 is a bit better. Thunder 2 he uses. It's Thunder 2, there we go. Don't know why I made her flee, but there you go. Special one's almost one. But apparently, yeah, cool. <laughs> so we go around this little feet. Oh, back with C. I'll just get a bunch of attack, which is what I should have done in the last thing. Yeah, Thunder's pretty effective. Their thunders have went to thunder. Th she's went to thunder three. She's went to thunder four. Nice. I don't know why they don't put the main gauche in the main hand. That always confused me. Because the main gauche is clearly a better weapon than the dagger. It's just trained in daggers. So, anyway. 
keep going south until you hit this other bit of the map. You could follow the coastline down if you get lost, because it feels like a long way. A bit of east down there, so there we go, we've hit mountains. Now, the island is to the east, so we'll just head off there. Basically won't be able to hit anything until you hit these mountains over here. And you'll be able to get on the east side of the island, I think it is. East or south, I suppose. I can't quite remember, but the, the castle's in the middle. Knife level 5. Sorry, 6. Third level 5. Or level 4. Still not that good at stuff. Um, yeah, so you can, you can pop off here if you want. The enemies are relatively difficult. But not terrible at this level. So I'll go proper and get his thunder going. Not bad, not bad. I'm so glad I found that bow randomly, it's such a nice bow. I'm gonna get a little closer, because I think I can get a little closer. I'm gonna hurt you up for a bit. Nice thunder! Bit, that's basically where we're heading. That's as close as we're going to get. Yeah, there it is. I think it's fire these guys look like. Also not the greatest fan of thunder I see. Death of the fire! <laughs> Castle Dice. 
again, it's pretty obvious what you're meant to do as soon as you walk in. Won't come any closer. Yeah, we're, we're gonna follow him. Hello, chat. Cottage is always nice. Yeah, basically we've now got to find the kid. Oh look, there he is. Well, there is another wyvern. Weather wyvern. What's the pronunciation? Tell me the comment. Lost his dad, hasn't he? Again, he clearly don't have any idea what Wild Rose is. Yep, there you go. Another death, I'll be off screen. about here I don't remember there being anything else to pick up other than that one chest but I could be wrong think it's safe oh no I am wrong there you go and it's down Ah, see, it has been a while. My brain is reminding me of something other. Maybe there is other items here. Okay, I'll take that item here. No me. Oh, us. Done. Nice. Unicorn horn. What the hell's a unicorn horn? <laughs> oh, right. So that's your item that will help you cure things in battle. Nice. So when I said there wasn't any other items, I was totally misremembering. <laughs> that was all of the items. Yeah, all of the items. Deji's wisdom. What be that? Maximize intelligence? Is that a plus intelligence item? That's neat. Cuss. 
collect a healing item. So, ooh, a wing sword. And a saint spirit. Right, I don't remember what these are. Yep, I don't remember what these are. These will set whatever stats, either intelligence or spirit, whatever they are, to um, 99, basically max level for one fight. Yeah, that's a big increase. That's really good. Yeah, if you use it within a fight, you get 99 intelligence for saying. That makes your spell really, really powerful. Use it on spirit, for instance. I forget what spirit does. But it looks exactly like the that that has a correlated effect. But yeah, the old adage of always adventure around has paid off well. <laughs> Let's head out. Surprisingly enough, there is actually a cave door. Look at thunk. Uh, ah, we'll use thunk. Spirit is your white mage potency, so how well you use white spells. And then some really good healing, use that. So here we are in the Wyvern Cavern. So our stop over here to begin with is exceptionally quick. Get the chest, head down and look at the shiny thing. So once you get the shiny thing, we head back to the castle. And don't worry, we welcome back here. But you can fight your way through, get to the end, and it's pointless. Basically, there's a thing you need to do in town, do some information, and it makes getting to the end of this the, the have a point, basically. You'll see what I mean when I get to the town. Back into the cave. 
I don't want good. Literally that. It's like, nope, wait, I'm fine. There. <laughs> That's all you get from it. They just say the same things, I think. So, that's what I mean, you could literally fight your way to the end of it, that hatchery. Um, find the life spring and they'd be like, oh, neat. <laughs> Nothing to do. You could go all the way back to Bass and do stuff there and sleep in an inn and whatnot. I'm just going to use a cottage because it's much quicker. The wing sort of looks almost like a little rapier. Ooh, getting all the increases. Walk right up to the gate. And we will use all our cures and whatnot that we need to use. 
Puts a lot of coins in a map. That's gonna kind of cute. Everyone's healed! Hooray! We'll also save it there before we hit this place. And we'll end the video there. When we come back, we'll storm this place and we'll go through and get you down to the life spring and the other parts as well. As always, thank you very much for watching. Leave a little like, comment, or subscribe, it would help me out greatly. And I'll see you again next time. This is Dragon Wolf signing off.